What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. No money down real estate, oh, that's not even possible. Buy real estate with no cash or credit, <laughs> this must be a scam. Make money in real estate with no license and no experience, how is this even possible? If you are involved in real estate in any way, shape or form, or you want to be involved in real estate, you've seen the Facebook ads, you've seen the books, you've seen the courses, you've seen the YouTube videos, but what? Is this no money down real estate thing and how is it possible for you to make money in real estate with no cash, no credit, no license and no experience? I mean who doesn't want to make millions with nothing? Well you are in the right place because I am going to break down how no money down real estate actually works from my experience because I actually have been involved with these type of deals but before we get into that make sure you hit that thumbs up button below right below the screen because it's kind of like a virtual high five. When you hear the words no money down real estate people are talking about one of two things. First is wholesaling real estate. I got into real estate from the investment side. I bought a small condo and I rented it out. I love this whole idea of getting passive income from investing in real estate, but buying real estate is expensive and I realized if I wanted to buy more real estate, I needed more money. That's when I went out and I got my license to be a real estate agent. I was working at a brokerage called Keller Williams and my boss happened to be a teacher who taught this thing called real estate wholesaling, which I had never heard of. Long story short, my boss invited me to one of our seminars where I ended up paying $3,500 for a course to learn this no money down real estate wholesaling system. I am going to save you three days of your time and explain how wholesaling works right here. So in any given market, 95% of homeowners, when it comes time for them to sell their home, they will want top dollar for their home. So they're going to go to real estate agents and they're going to decorate their home and they're going to make it nice this way they can get top dollar. That's not who you're working with here. In any given market, there's going to be a small percentage of people, maybe 5% of people who will want to sell quickly. They're motivated sellers. Maybe they went through a divorce or maybe they had a bad tenant or maybe they had a job change. Whatever it is, they want to get out of the home and they want to get out fast so they will be willing to sell you the home at a deep discount. Let's say this home right here is worth $100,000 and for the sake of this example, this homeowner is very motivated so you come in, so this $100,000 is the market value, you come in, you find this homeowner and you enter into a contract to buy this home for $90,000. Now, you could buy this home yourself if you wanted to, but that defeats the whole purpose of this no money down thing. So, you enter into a contract to buy this home, and as soon as you do that, you're going to turn on your marketing, and then you're going to market this home to a new buyer for a higher price. So, you're going to find a cash buyer like maybe an investor who wants a discounted home, and you are going to sell this contract to this new buyer for $95,000. Now what happens is this buyer comes in with $95,000 and then $90,000 is going to go here to this previous homeowner and now this person is happy because they sold their home and they got their cash and they got to leave and then this person is happy because this investor or whoever this person is got to buy a home at a discount and then this remaining $5,000 goes to you as your wholesale fee for putting this deal together. The best thing about this is you don't need to have a real estate license to do this in most places and you don't need a lot of cash to flip these properties because you're entering into a contract to buy a home without the intention of buying it. And now when you enter into a contract to buy this property, you get certain rights which allow you to market this property for sale and now you can essentially flip this home to somebody else but you don't need any money to do it because you're not actually buying the property and you want to have certain rights in this contract saying that if you can't find a buyer, you can back out of the deal. This way you really have nothing to lose. The key for wholesaling to work is you. You need to work if you want wholesaling to work. When I first started wholesaling, I did not close a single deal for the first three or four months of me doing this and that was kind of rough because I was getting rejected again and again and again. But the next month, I closed two deals. The first one, I made $10,000 and the second one, I pocketed $7,500 and that's when I started to understand the whole process and things started to pick up. You need to find the right sellers who are ready to sell at a big discount and you need to find the right buyers who are ready to buy quickly. Both of these people exist in every market it, and this is where you can make your money if you can connect these people. If you want to learn more about how you can start wholesaling real estate and how you can start doing this whole system, you can read Cody Sperber Clever Investor's free ebook on how to wholesale real estate. The ebook is free and you can download it by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. I flew out to Arizona to meet Cody who wrote this book and I even walked through some of his deals. So 
I know he's good. The ebook is free and his company has more advanced courses and programs you can purchase. You're not required to purchase anything, but if you do, we will get compensated, but there's no additional cost to you. So if you want to learn more about how to do this, I'll put the link in the description below. The second way you can do no money down real estate is 100% finance deals. Let me show you what this means. So let's say you want to buy this property, which is worth $100,000 again. This is the market value. So you don't have $100,000 to buy this property. So you run over to your bank and you say, bank, can you loan me some money to buy this property? So the bank will do an appraisal and they say, sure, this property is worth $100,000 and we will give you $80,000, but not a penny more. So the bank is willing to give you $80,000, but that means you still need to come up with another $20,000 if you want to buy this property. At this point, you can either come up with the $20,000 yourself if you have the $20,000 sitting in your account, but that would defeat the purpose of this whole no money down system. Or you can go to this seller right here, this happy seller, and say, hi, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, would you be willing to do a land contract, which is seller financing, and give me $20,000 in this property, meaning a $20,000 loan, because you have a lot of equity in your property. Now, the seller's not gonna actually give you a check for $20,000. You're gonna give the seller this $80,000 and then the seller's gonna hold back a note, meaning you are gonna have to start paying the seller payments on this $20,000 that they are giving you through this property itself. So they're not gonna give you the $20,000, they're just gonna give you the property with only taking $80,000 and then this other $20,000 is a loan that they're giving you through this property and then you're gonna have to make payments on this $20,000. So now you own this property, you paid nothing out of pocket, but you have two loans. You have to make payments to the bank for this $80,000 and then you have to make payments to the seller for $20,000. The goal here is to rent out this property to a tenant and then hope that the rent that your tenant pays is enough to cover your property taxes, your insurance, your maintenance, and then your loan payments to your bank and your loan payments to the seller, including whatever interest you have to pay. I have been involved with no money down real estate deals like this, but not as the buyer. I have been involved as the seller where I gave a buyer a land contract where I gave them the property without asking for all the cash up front and in exchange they had to pay me interest for owning this property that I gave them. I've also bought a property from a buyer who did this exact same no money down thing. They bought a property with no money out of pocket but they didn't know how to manage their property so they were bleeding money every single month and they were so upside down on all of their payments that they were a very, very motivated buyer. So they were willing to sell me the property for 50 cents on the dollar. It's kind of like that wholesale example I was talking about before. When I entered into a contract to buy it, I could have flipped that contract and sold it to somebody else, but I had the cash at this time and I wanted to buy this property for myself. Can this no money down real estate investment system work? Yes, some people have done it very successfully, but I would never do this because when I invest in real estate, I invest for cash flow, not for a headache. The more debt you take on, the more risk you have. So if something bad were to happen, you are much more likely to feel the effects of it. There's more than one way to do real estate and you have to find the right way for you. And if you wanna learn more about how you can start investing in real estate, I'll put a couple videos for you to watch in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, share it with one friend. And if you don't want to miss our new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then subscribe to the Minority Minds YouTube channel and hit the little notification bell that way YouTube actually lets you know when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.